Okay, everybody. It is Monday night. Oops. Hold on. It is Monday night, uh, July 29th. It is the last, like, three days of the Creative Dare. So Andy can put that link up. And this month's uh, sponsor was Maya, no, do, 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 do. Ribbons. May Arts Ribbons. May Arts. And if you don't know who they are, they're right here. Okay, so these are some of the ribbons I'm going to pick from anyway. Um, and what else can I tell you? Uh, let's see. I have been, I have been painting a lot, a lot, but in something much smaller and not big. So this was my latest, and I want to thank Paula if she's not here. It says, beauty always comes out of the darkness, but that is my latest watercolor. So uh, I have been, I skipped a page, I don't know, that was a snow, that was a snowstorm in Michigan. Um, I have been painting and sharing as I go. Uh, all of my watercolor fun this summer. I'm trying to do a watercolor a day. So hypothetically, I think by the end of the summer, this book would be full, but I'm a whole weekend behind. So I guess that's not really a watercolor a day. It's like a watercolor for five days. And everybody's saying, I love my arts ribbon. Please go to their Facebook page and thank them for uh, sponsoring us because that's super generous. And um, let me think what else. So that's what I've been working on. Uh, yesterday I was hired to, uh, I used to be a photographer. I should say used to, I think I still am if I hold the camera, but is, Lori, is it weird hearing me live? <laughs> Wait, Lori, are you still there? Okay. So anyway, um, yesterday I was, hi mom. Uh, I was, uh, hired, uh, I used to be a photographer. I still am. But I uh, was hired to do a wedding, and I haven't done a wedding in so long. Weddings are like one of those things you cannot ask the people to redo. If you're in a bad mood that day, you have to show up in the wedding and pretend like you're the happiest person on the face of this earth. And when every bride tells you to make them look skinny, you have to promise them that you're going to make them look skinny. And when the groomsmen get drunk, you have to pretend that they're not drunk and shoo, 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 and them in line. Not that any of that happened yesterday, because I, <laughs> the groomsman thing kind of happened. But uh, I made for, uh, friends with the groomsman. I had one who had ADD, and he was just all over the place. So every time he was not in a photo, he would meander off, and I had to corral him. But I really thought, because that's a form of art, that that form of art was gone from me, and it really wasn't. I really found some back of my spirit back doing that. And you really have to command a performance and you have to command authority that they will listen to what you want them to do because the bride will go nutty. And it all came into place and I overshot the entire wedding. And um, I now will spend the next two and a half weeks editing photos, but it was really a beautiful thing to be a part of. And I felt like I regained part of my artistic spirit, something, something that... Um, Sometimes you kind of think you lose, and then you go, oh, can I do this again? And I did it. So I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that. Uh, that Yeah, everybody just said weddings are scary. I've been through one, and I haven't done another one. Uh, but, yeah, it was so fun. It was planned, you know, and then you have to be the one who says, I've got 30 more minutes with the bride and the groom, and the DJ's at you, and the cake person's at you and it was I don't know I, I it was like the second I got there I fell back into what I love and I know and yeah but the groomsmen <laughs> and two of the group and two of the bridesmaids so um needless to say the bride was a little bit on the edge and so I was almost suggesting to her that she get something to drink but you can't do that <laughs> okay so um I, I will write all about that tomorrow. I'm not sharing any of the photos except for the ones from my iPhone until I show the bride so that she's happy. But it was really great to do something that I felt really good about doing. And I really feel good about Monday nights. And I'm here every Monday night. So we're going to paint because it's almost... Do I have nothing else to say, Lori? <laughs> it is 6.04 and I got everything done in four minutes. Hi, Mom. 
My mom said, that's great, Trace. Yeah, let's hope the bride thinks it's great. Did I get any dates? Yeah, I love this. Did I get any dates? It was so funny. They At the end of the wedding, I went to go leave. The best part about this was I was done. I was like, my cutoff point was six. I'd been there since 10. And she said, don't worry about the bouquet. And I put all my gear away. I sat down with some friends to talk and get a drink of water because I hardly went with eating and drinking. And all of a sudden, the bouquet thing becomes a thing. And guess who they are? Oh, you got to go out there. It's like I'm the only single person out there. But yes, I did hit record. Uh, but yes, I went to go catch the bouquet. And needless to say, it was kind of like one of those sex in the city moments where they go to catch the bouquet. It falls right in front of them. And they go, OK, see you tomorrow for lunch. But no, somebody scrambled for it. I did hit record. Thank you, Andy. So uh, I didn't even catch the bouquet yesterday. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, I don't believe that's true anyway, because I think I caught a zillion bouquets in my lifetime. And uh, nope. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still not married. Only one wedding. One wedding. So, okay. So any other questions except for my dating status <laughs> about the wedding? Okay, so today I decided I wasn't going to work in a canvas because I think we've gone canvas two weeks in a row. And I'm only a few brief pages away from finishing my 9 by 12 journal. And I always get kind of amped up when I start to finish something because I, I really feel complete. Um, and this was what we did last time, and I thought that was really fun. Um, and it was a two-page spread, so I'm not used to doing that. And... Um, I think that's it. Are the, do we have any new people here? Speaking of new, I love it that my dad immediately gets on and says, hi, all. It's wine o'clock Monday, the best night of the week. What's that, Lori? Oh, Lamore. Oh, Lamore. I love this. I can actually hear what's going on. This, okay, Yvonne is here. So who's in the house? I got to look. I still have time. Jean is here. See, I cannot see who's on here. I see we have a lot of guests. If you're a guest and you're not logged in, uh, you are not eligible for the uh, strip tease at the end of the... <laughs> we don't give anything away live, but I guess I could. Um, but if you're not logged in, you can't participate in the chat. So Allie in Minnesota is new. Hi, Allie. Welcome. If you're wondering, Glue Dad and Glue uh, Mom are my glue parents, and I also have a glue dog and glue twins, and um, Brenda is here. Welcome if you're new. I have a glue teenager, but he's not in the house right now, so everything's happier. You love that I know that song, uh, Lamore. I saw them in concert. Erasure, yes, thank you, back in the 80s. So welcome to Allie. If anybody else is new, or it, I love that people say this is my second time. It's almost like they're afraid to show up again. Um, so we don't do the hazing until the third or fourth visit. And then, um, I'm sorry, after that, we have to initiate you in the group. <laughs> Miko's here. Uh, oh, the other Brenda's here. Do I have to call her the, end, the other Brenda? And if you're not part of our Facebook group, that's the best way to stay connected because I, um, I as much as I try to get to know everybody here, uh, 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 yeah, look at, uh, Tracy just says, uh-oh, she can hear us now. Yes, look. I have, I have Cyrano de Bergerac uh, is talking for me now. So anything Lori says, I have to say. By the way, Lori has a really nice voice. I'm telling you. <laughs> It's getting a little hot in here. Okay, anyway, it's not that kind of show. Uh, but if you're here for the first time, it turns into that kind of show. Okay, my glue kid is eating an easy dinner of baked potatoes. Ooh, those are my favorite. So anyway, once I get going, Lori will kind of clue me in. And if questions come up, we'll be able to hear them. Or I'll be able to hear them. Andy, for the most part, answers most of the questions on my behalf. And if she doesn't know, she just gives you an answer that she thinks fits. So uh, that's the nice part about being Andy. She's the boss of everybody, and that works. So I guess, um, oh, the other Yvonne is here. Oh, we have two Yvonnes. Oh, and Jean says we have to be good. Yes. No, t no longer talking about me. Where's Sandy? Speaking of good, Sandy said she'd be here. So, um, oh, she was here earlier. Okay, so, oh, we can talk about Andy. Oh, oh, I don't have any white. Hold on, I need white rags. Hold on, i got to get my assistant. Uh, Nikki? 
Hold on, I'll be right back. Right now. Oh, oops, here comes the dogs. The dog followed me right in. Okay, I'm sorry. I get these. If you guys are familiar with those shop towels at Costco, that's what I use for my dusting cloths and obviously my um, paint rags. So every time um, I clean the house, I have paint reminders of my painting. All right, so, oh, I want to introduce something that's new to me. I think I'm going to use them. So this is so great. So the paint fairy showed up at my doorstep and left paints. I work for Deco Art, so they left me all of their new multi-surface stains. I don't know if I'm going to use these tonight, and they've dropped off all of their latest, newest colors, um, which are all in this box. But the other thing they dropped off was this. Um, they have brand new stencils. Excuse me, I'm perping up my sandwich, Lori. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're right in my ear. So um, they, hold on, this one I opened already. And I got to put all this stuff away. So they make, you know, uh, stencils are so hot right now. So I was super, super excited. Okay, now Paula logged in and I wanted Paula to know I used her quote on that page. Okay, so the stencils are in. Um, big letters, so if I decide to, you know, give me a C, I'll be able to give myself a C. And uh, then they have all these letter stencils. So I love this one because it looks like my doodling, and that will make my doodling a lot easier. And then, of course, they came out with really cool, these are all brand new. So I believe that in some of this tonight... Um, I'm just showing you a quick little, oh, I'm not showing you a very good demo, but um, this one's cool. I love this because it's places, so I've been to Chicago, I've been to New York, I've been to Sydney. Uh, now, what's that? Yes, these are all Americana Deco art. Yes, yes, yes. And I believe, I know the answer to where you can get this. I think it's Michael's and Hobby Lobby. They're absolutely brand new. In fact, our assignment this month, my assignment, is to use them. So I guess I'm going to use them. So uh, if you're wondering, I will make sure I photograph these. Like this one's called Oopsie Daisy, and I think I'm going to use this tonight. I just love it. Uh, I love daisies, and... I love anything that's called oopsie and daisy because I'm full of oopsies and daisies. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to kind of share that this might be something we use tonight. Yeah, I love the clock one. Oh, that thing just went in my mouth. I love the clock one. Okay. So, uh, oh, wait, just switch cameras. Uh, any questions for me? And I'm sure... Um, do they make smaller sizes? You know what? I don't know. Uh, good question. I didn't. Uh, the, the lettering is all eight and a half by 11, but I didn't see. Let me see. I will look that up. I will find out the answer to you, whether it comes in something smaller. Hold on. The dog is choking. Um, yeah. And I, and I will make sure. Uh, I will get you the facts on these because they just emailed everything about it. So. Uh, I don't have an answer to that. Yeah. Okay. I, <laughs> Kim just said, I love like Tracy rocks like she's holding a baby. You should see me at church. I do the same thing. It's actually kind of probably really annoying for the person behind me, but I just cannot stop moving. So, um, again, I don't have a plan. I do have some colors in mind. And that's about it. I'm going to move these because I don't know that I'm going to use them. I have a whole wall of paint behind me. Okay, so any questions? I'm moving it out. Uh, we have 14. Yes, join in the chat. I love that. Andy is pumping them up. Okay, hold on. i got to switch cameras. Switching cameras. Okay. I loved at this wedding I went to yesterday. Their, their uh, theme was trees. It was really cool. Very cool. Okay.
All right, this is what I'm trying to paint. So let's see if I have to adjust the camera any. Okay. Oh, yeah, some of the, a good point. Yeah, 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 good, good point. Somebody just said that some of the, um, which I think I'm going to use some of the ones. Some of them had four by fours on them, which I thought was a cool idea. See, look at this. It has uh, four different designs. Isn't that nifty? So good thinking on their part. And I think I'm going to use one of these tonight. Just seems like a fun thing to do, doesn't it? Okay, so we're going to get started. I don't really, again, oh, the plan, the plan, the plan. I've been using a lot of bright colors, and I'm going to stick with it. It just seems to, um, I don't know, it just seems to be my thing right now. Maybe it's my thing forever. Maybe I am 100%. See, I'm going to pull that out. So I'm kind of going to use, and I don't know yet. They, they gave me all these multi-surface stains. So I haven't tried these out, but I thought these looked really great. They sent me a whole slew of colors. Uh, but for right now... But right now, I believe I'm just going to watercolor some things. Now, what do you guys want to work with? Acrylics, watercolors, or do we have a vote? 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 <laughs> Come on, keep up, keep up, keep up. Oh, it's not you guys, it's me. I really want to use this. I love this stencil. Doesn't that just scream happiness? Look at that. It fits perfectly. Oh, that's because it's 12 wide. Okay, everybody said they would cut the stencils. I don't, I don't know if I would cut them. Yeah, I guess I could, but... Okay. Oh, gosh. Mm. Okay, we have acrylic, 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 acrylic. Okay. I hear you. I hear it. Acrylic is the first ones out of the gate. And I really thought we would use red last week, and we didn't because you guys talked me out of it and scared me away from the color that scares me the most. So I'm going to kind of go with some reds. I know. <laughs> Lori just said, don't blame you guys. I blame everything on you guys when you're not around. Okay, so I am going to create a background. And I'm going to go with my normal... I don't know if my baby wipes open. So these are Deco Art Acrylics. This color is primary yellow. Okay, I'm definitely not looking up now, Lori. So whenever you want to start doing your job that I hired you to do at no pay, it'd be nice. <laughs> I know the I know the pay stinks. Don't talk to don't talk to uh, Andy because I don't pay her either. Uh, you know what? That's a great uh, thing. Yes, I do know the names of them. Okay, so I'm going to give you the first two that I'm using. Great question. This is called Oopsie Daisy, and it says Americana Mixed Media. 12 by 12. And I believe I'm going to use this one. I'm not making any promises. The other one I pulled out is this Retro Mod. And they don't give any other numbers. But I will, oh, yes, they do. ASMM03. And ASMM02. And they kind of show on the back how to use them. Very cool. Um, they, I have the stipple brushes. I never do stuff like that. I don't know why, but I guess I could. So maybe we'll try it like that tonight. Okay, so we're going to mix up background colors. Oh, I'm full after that sandwich. Man, I go up from eating nothing to stuffing myself. Uh oh. Is something, are we losing, Lori? No, we're not losing screen. Okay, but um, somebody said they might be losing screen or something or no. Oh, I'm, okay, good. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, I, I, you know what? I do want to move my camera out just a hair, guys. I'm sorry to disrupt the system here, but it will be easier if my camera was out knocking me in the head. And, and um, But a straighter, it'll look better. Okay, I think that looks better. Okay, does that look better? Oh, sorry about the buffering, guys. I think that's on, that's on your fault. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, as long as it's not a, a group thing, uh, I think we're okay. Ooh, that's really, really, oh, that's really, oh, that's like 
that is like pinkish red, but you know what? I did say I wanted to do red. Now I've scared myself. Um, so that's red. This is red. I'm going to go, that is red. Okay. I'm going to go cherry red too. This is calico red and I'm going to keep using it. So if you haven't watched the show before, I, I all day come up with concepts and work really hard to show you what I'm going to be working on. No, the truth of the matter, the truth of the matter is nothing is planned. Oh, and it's so obvious when I start doing this. But I just want a background and I kind of want it to be bold. I know <laughs> I'm getting that. I'm getting bold. Man, am I getting bold. Um, and I'm going to start rubbing this in a little bit. I got dog hair. That's nice. Thank you, Penny, for leaving your hair everywhere in my life. Including my bed. Love you. Oh, my God. I wish you guys could see my dog. Okay, hold on. You'll see her, but she's going to be... Okay, that's my dog. That is the situation that is going on. Look at her. And she's looking up at us. That's my dog. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> that is my dog. Okay, so I'm blending it in a little bit. I really did not know this was going to be that freaking red. So t I don't even, normally I kind of have a plan and I say, I really, um, I think, um, I think my theme if I need to have one, is going to be something about my spirit. I kind of felt yesterday when I was teaching or when I was um, at that wedding, I just felt part of myself wake up that I hadn't seen in a little while. Of course, I think I also saw that same person at the Kid Rock concert on Friday, but it was a few beers and vodkas that did that trick. <laughs> um, so this kind of... This kind of blotting, as I'm doing, is just kind of giving me the background that I want. And I'm, I oh, I'm looking at the camera, and it is really, really, I'm not a dog person. I saw that. You're, hey, Lori, when they're talking about me, you're supposed to read it to me. <laughs> I'm not a dog person. I think, Lori, I think I hear a dog at Lori's, right? I think I hear a dog at Lori's barking. <laughs> Kitty cat barking. Oh. Um, anyway, so I went and saw a little piece of Detroit on Friday night, too. So I've had a really long and tiresome weekend. Okay. But a good long and tiresome weekend. Okay. Ooh, I'm kind of really liking that. It's bold. And it's beautiful. Okay. All right. So... I, I, I don't know if this, I always, I always, um, like my mom is saying, hi, Penny, mother, uh, your god dog's, um, name is not P-E-N-N-E-Y, it's P-E-N-N-Y, and she just saw that. Penny, it's okay, grandma knows how to spell your name. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. I saw Kid Rock in December when I saw, oh, he was so great. And I saw Uncle Cracker and Cool in the Gang. Do you guys remember Cool in the Gang? <laughs> They're not dead. And I think I heard them say that. <laughs> They're not dead. They're all alive. They looked alive. Okay. Now, what I was thinking about was not 100 flowers on this, to be honest with you. I don't feel like 100 flowers. I, I should do a little drying. Um... In my background, I'm going to have more in my background. One of the things I wanted to incorporate into this is um, teal. So, don't be surprised if I go back in with some gesso, which I'm planning on doing, and coming up with some cool patterns. I'm kind of liking this one. Oh, bye, Sandy. I'm sorry. Sandy's got used to it. I hate that. I'm so sorry when that happens, you guys. But um, unfortunately, man, it is free. 
Okay, I really wanted more dots, but you know what? Maybe I could do this. Okay, the uh, name of the colors I used, which I really did a nice combination, I think. I know they're a little bold here, but I do show everything on my website. I did primary yellow, calico red, and cherry red. The cherry red was a bit deeper, and I really am okay with how that kind of turned out. I'm actually thinking, to be honest with you, my flower is going to be, God, I'm really thinking about, I love this flower that's right here. It's just the half flower, which I really love. But I'm actually thinking about utilizing this flower right here or doing a combination of like three flowers. I really just wanted one big flower to come up the middle and I want a stem and I want to do over exaggerated leaves. So I think I'll just stick with this one. And I think one way to achieve this look and gesso it and get the colors I want, I'm going to work more in the background too, but I kind of want to just skip right to the fun part. And the fun part will be gessoing. Uh, and I could use a paintbrush. I could, I think I'm just going to do this. And I'm not going to worry so much about getting it, keeping it in the lines, getting it out. I might have to use a paintbrush though after all. It's going to be hard to keep this held down. But I really love this idea. This is like taking the painting right out of the painting. I love this. Oh, hold on. Let me find a paintbrush that works. My paintbrushes are kind of... Okay. All right. So you don't have to get it perfect. Because if you got it perfect, then you would not be working within Tracy's school of not perfect. Okay. So I really, if I have to, I can come back and add another one. Oh, it's so hot in my office right now. Okay, let's just lift this up. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is why I'm painting it. Okay. Goody. And you just form the petals. Oh, this takes the, this takes the anxiety of having to paint something and making sure it is perfect. I sometimes don't want to paint everything. Okay. And I'm going to give this inside a big bloopy bloop because, um, oh, sh wait. oops, <laughs> wrong way. Okay, so uh, I don't know how many flowers you guys think. Um, mm -hmm. I did. Okay, there we go. I did. You guys are, yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. Thank you. I know, 20 second delay. Okay, so um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I add more flowers? I easily could. I mean, this is just like, God, I could make this flower one, winter wonderland here. Hold on. Maybe I should do like two of them and one going off the page. I just hate to. Oh, Gina says she's been to two concerts in her life. Hi, Kim. Everybody tell Kim not to talk bad about me because I have a person uh, listening to me and giving me all the heads up. Ooh, I'm kind of thinking about doing another, um, look at me, I can never stop at one flower. It's just like I get flower crazy. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I put this one right here. Then I could have this stem coming down and have, I don't even have to, you know what, I'm going to do it. I, I always ask a question and then I just go right into it. So I don't know why I even bother asking, but sometimes I sometimes I listen. Can't stop. I have flower power. Ooh, sweating. Okay. Kim has a store, everybody. Kim, do you want to give the name of your store? She does. She's a store owner. Okay. And we're gonna really, you know. We're going to zing up these things, so don't get nervous and think we're going to leave them. I don't think anybody's nervous, so. Okay, so, and the other one I'm just going to have fallen off the page because we don't really care about that one. Um, there we go. This is fun. This is like, I love this flower one. And I think I'm going to add some pattern to it. Okay. Cool. 
So those just clean off. I use brush cleaner on them. Super easy. Um, okay. So I'm just making sure that I got my stems good enough. Those are, those are cool. Those are quick and easy. It's like cheating. I love it. Not cheating. Not cheating, Mom. Not cheating. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. My mom says paint three flowers. Now i am got the delay. Yeah. Isn't that great? There's three. There's three done already. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Isn't this, see, Lori, this is not easy. See, Lori gets to see what I experience every week, and I just took this off. Uh, I was going to do pattern paper. Uh, this was going to be my other idea. I was going to do, okay, I'll be honest with you, like, the thought of me looking through my pattern paper kind of just, I, I just, I don't feel like it. I'll be honest. Look at this paintbrush. Look at, you think I could get rid of this paintbrush? It is the worst paintbrush in the world. Uh, but no, I'll stick it over there. Um, so I thought about doing a, uh, uh, there we go. Lazy cowgirl crafting. Okay. So I thought about cutting out, um, the stem and, you know, decoupaging it on there and being all cool about this, but I guess I just changed my mind because I'm painting it. And for those of you who don't paint flowers and stems, oh, give them a try. They're the most fun thing in the world to ever paint. Because it doesn't matter what they look like. Obviously, the way I'm painting it right now. Okay. So, we'll go back and add detail. Don't fret. Um, is this one going to have a stem? Yeah, this one's going to have a stem. It's not going to have a major stem, though. And it's only going to have one leaf. Okay. Oh, it's so freaking hot in this room. I have to close one of the windows, otherwise it sounds like I, I live off of a major freeway, but I don't. Um, it's just really loud when people are coming home from work. Okay, so that's, this is it. This is an, an I got to Lori, get everybody thinking of, or <laughs> I guess you can all hear me. Start thinking about a title. I was trying to say like something like free your spirit or, you know, find your spirit or let your spirit fry or I don't know. I was telling you, there were people at Kid Rock letting their spirits fly. They were smoking their spirits. Holy moly. That was ridiculous. Okay. Oh, I guess I have to try this. Okay. All right. Oh, good. Everybody's putting up their creative hair. Pick a... Uh... Okay, I want... Um, I really want circles. Circles, circles, circles. And I have a favorite circles template that I'm going to try and dig out of my mess of templates. I guess I'll take the drawer out. Sorry, guys. I'm looking for a template because I really want um, circles. And sometimes circles are easier on a template than it is on anything else. Okay, here we go. Oh, is it you? Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. I won't lean over the painting anymore. Thank you. <laughs> I don't see why you guys have. I don't see why. What? Really? You can't see what I'm working on? <laughs> really? Is this an issue? Oh, now I got Jesso in my hair. That's awesome. Okay. I love that. I need a ceiling fan. <laughs> I need a, I don't, oh, that's not right. Hold on. You hear that, Dad? I need a ceiling fan in here. <laughs> Every time my dad hears that I need something, he's like, I don't know. She's going to have me put it in. I do need, a ceiling fan would be really nice in here. Okay. Here we go. This is another template. This one's by Crafters Workshop. And I just, um, this is what I'm doing with it. I want to have some more white in the background because I want to use some other colors. So I'm just stenciling in 
Um, I want it to be faint, not too crazy, not too, okay. <laughs> Ooh, grow your spirit. Ooh, that's a good one. <gasps> Golly, I like that one. Okay, Mary. Don't forget it, Mary. <laughs> Somebody write that down because by the time I get to it. All right, so there we go. And then I'm going to boop, 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 boop because I really don't want the dots. I want the dots to be a different color. I know it seems crazy what I'm doing, but if you've ever seen the show, it is crazy what I'm doing. Okay. So normally with these stipple brushes, because they're fat like this, I usually just take brush cleaner and uh, Deco Art makes a great one. Here it is, Magic Brush Cleaner. And I just do this and I do this and I do this. Sometimes this is how I clean my stencils, but you just, you don't rub it back in the gesso, but hold on, I closed that in the drawer. Okay. So, and then I just wipe it off. You really want to try and keep your stipple brushes clean because otherwise if they get clogged up, then they don't work right. So I really recommend you just wash them off. I, w I try to wash them in between the reuse. Okay. And, all right, I really am going to go bright on my leaf, and then I'm going to go a little bit darker. So, of course, the only two probably good, decent brushes I have are in the water, so. All right, let's move that up. And I'm going to paint over. I'm mean, going to love acrylic paint because, okay, I did have a little bit of water on this brush and I think it helped to spread this around a little bit. Oh, it also helped to, oh, okay. What the heck am I doing? I'm running, oh, great job, Tracy Ann. You ever get paint where you didn't want it to be? I just did that, like four different places. Okay, stop. All right. So then that was Irish Moss, and now I'm just going to open another color, and I am going to add a hint of, I am just going to come back in, and this is just a darker color, and I'm just going to go over, I don't want the whole thing to be like, you got to have it like shadowed. Me and my shadow. Poor, poor Lori is now listening to me sing live. How embarrassing. Okay. For me, not her. I would be dying right now. I'd be on the other end just totally laughing, saying, holy moly, was this girl drinking for dinner? Just a glass of wine. Does it every time. Okay. So I'm not even being careful about my painting. I don't know if you uh, probably were just looking at the top of my head. Uh, okay. There you go. Oh, I loved it. Thank you, Paula, for letting me use your quote. Okay. So I'm going to dry that. Now, uh, find, what color do we want the flowers to be before I go into a major kind of thing with them? So I'm way into the whimsical, what whimsical? That's kind of weird. Um, so one of the things I am going to do, just so everybody knows, is I'm going to come back in with this probably turquoise color. And these are really going to be the dots that I'm using. So we're going to just incorporate some fun oddball-y colors. And, and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to draw around them. So I'm kind of going in between the... I'm not really doing a good job of it, but they're supposed to be circles. <laughs> well, that's going to get right in that paint, but that's all right. Okay. All right. Okay, that was what I wanted to do with that. And I gotta put that down. Okay, 
I think I got green paint on the other side of it. All right. So it's, uh, and then I'm going to draw some little circles around that, and it's going to be a little shape. Uh, don't put the brushes in above the metal shank. It rusts and destroys the bristles 100%. Yeah, I am the worst person to care for her brushes, so please do not look at what I do. <laughs> yes, 100%. And you're supposed to lay them down flat, not like, uh, or, or facing downward, because then um, the water doesn't go back up into the shank of them. My mom's probably giving you all of her um, cosmetic brush tips. She's uh, in the know of that. Okay, so what color should these... The you took the flowers do. I'm so bad with my brushes. And I never throw them away. I never throw them away. It's like I can never get rid of... Look at this thing. At some point, you have to go, okay, that's no good. But it's still sitting there. <laughs> okay. So... What colors? Do we have any ideas on colors yet, or are we that far behind? Lauren? Just keep painting. Oh my god, I feel like I'm like a lap dog. Just keep painting. Just keep painting. Okay, so now I'm gonna get. Uh... Oh, good. Okay, so some. Okay, so so my mom does. <laughs> My mom, if you ask my mom a question, she, oh, this is not good. Do not use a Sharpie when it's all wet. Um, if you ask my mom, my mom's always going to tell me. Mom, I used to bring my artwork home, and my mom would go, that is gorgeous. And I knew that was not gorgeous. <laughs> okay. So, kind of, oh, okay, that was nice. Don't stick your hand in the wet paint. Oh, yeah. You are supposed to you you are supposed to take your brushes out of the water. I am pretty good about that. I will. My daughter does use my brushes though, so she'll go in and drive me insane. But um, so the real fun of this is not the painting part. <laughs> it's the the part when I'm done and I start drinking a glass of wine. No. Um. Okay. So okay, let's let's make sure that I'm no longer okay. So is anybody still watching the show or they're still talking about their paintbrushes? Okay. So I've, <laughs> Lori's like, see, this is not easy. Uh, Lori, what color do I? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're all, they're all doing their laundry. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can open my shades a little bit too, because that helps with the light. We might be too bright still. I think we're too bright. Okay. That helps a little bit. Okay. All right, we have three flowers. Uh, we can do them uh, three different colors, all the same color, or I can just, um... okay, what I'm doing is I'm just taking my Sharpie and I'm just, I don't know, I just feel like making my own little flower, my own little doodle marks, but of course I do stuff when everything's still wet, so you can't really do that. My nose is running. Okay. Got to keep wiping off the tip. All right. I'm painting. Okay, great. Does anybody like to know? Look at how, I think I got a really long delay. Okay. I th Major delay. I know. So I'm, all I'm doing now is just taking the Sharpie, but I believe I'm going to have to switch it over to something else because that's not working too well. Um, when you're really got to, yeah, grab another marker. I'm actually going to try this one. No. My markers are getting really... Oh, look at this one. It hasn't even started yet. So I don't want to use that one because I'm going to ruin it. This one's been started. Okay. I'm going to wait till I get to... Lori, any ideas on what color? Uh, <laughs> sneezing and... Yeah. Lori needs... We... Oh, what color for flowers? There we go. See, I see that. That popped up right away. I think it's just me talking. Yeah, okay. So what color for the flowers? Like vivid violet? I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, what about orange? Orange for the middle. 
Okay. Oh, I just timed it. Okay. All right. Purples, purples. I heard purples. Oh, see, I pulled out purples. Little fuchsia. Okay. Purple. Okay. I'm hearing. Okay. So this is going to go, this is going to go. And you know what? I picked out purples and pinks. Okay. I picked out purples and pinks. So uh, there was a little delay. So I was starting to pick stuff out and you guys, you guys just confirmed. So I'm just going to go with it and then, okay. I use uh, a number four, six round brush for a lot of my, I don't really deviate a ton. I don't use flat brushes a ton. I have them. I use fan brushes every now and again, but I'm really into right now, like, um, very whimsical doodly, not caring stuff, if that makes sense. And, uh, I feel like with a round brush, you can use the tip of it and be really doodly, like really specific and straight line with it, or you can flatten it out more and it will go, it will do flatter, it will uh, make a wider stroke for you. So the last time I was on, somebody asked a question about my paintbrush desire and that's kind of it. I don't, and I keep using like the same one, so I don't know. I keep using the same brush until like this thing is uh, lost its coating. It's and I use water and I clean it off and sometimes I don't clean it off and one day and I got this paintbrush free from Japan from a paintbrush supplier. I remember getting in the mail with a catalog because I used to work for a a manufacturer of stuff and they sent it to me as a sample and it's like now I can't get rid of this thing. It's been like the best paintbrush. And I think now the splinters are coming through the paintbrush because the wood's getting so old. And I still won't get rid of it. Okay. So I'm not really painting this perfect. And it looks like a three-year-old painted it. <laughs> what? <laughs> it looks like uh, my, um, you know, cousin's kid could do it. <laughs> But really, you need to go to the School of Hard Knocks in order to paint this. <laughs> you have to graduate from the Art School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> and if one person then goes into, what school did you go to for art? Uh, mm -mm -mm. I have two degrees. <laughs> I have a degree in building construction management with a specialization in finance. So obviously that degree is being put to incredibly good use right now. <laughs> Actually it is. Okay, so I've just done a barrage of colors. I'm not waiting for anything to dry because guess who's impatient? And I am doing that on purpose. I kind of want the colors to run together, believe it or not. Where's my water? This is what I'm going to do. And in order to get it run together, I'm going to purposely run it together. Okay. So this is what I'm doing. I'm using water with my acrylics. Yes, I am. And, and the fun will come in just a minute. I really got a little out on the edge in this one. Okay. There we go. Ooh, I don't want that. too much water. Oops. I think I just lost a charcoal pencil. Okay. There we go. So and then I'm going to dry this because my water is all kind of wet. I really didn't want to say that and say that. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hopefully I get get in the bottom of that. Too. Okay. I really want a pattern in the middle of that. I really wish I had a cool little pattern or something on the inside, but I don't have any small enough. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Hold on. Okay, I have an idea. So this is drywall tape. Are you one out? You want out? Go ahead. Go. Okay, it's 
Sorry to let the dog out. Okay, so this is drywall tape. Nothing special about that. I'm just going to lay this down and I'm going to use that. Hopefully that will leave a little, yeah, it didn't leave too much. I don't think I needed to paint more in it. Okay, I am trying to put it on a little thicker. Okay, it's like I want thickness in the middle of this flower. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm satisfied. While that's drying, I'm going to darken up a few of my colors, like right here. Put that way. Oh, they do? Go for it. Yes, I'm going to do that. Okay, so we think what color, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I got a couple of splotches. Okay, we are going to do that. Everybody wants me to drip something from the top of it. All right. I have got enough colors here to choke a freaking chicken. There are so many colors on this. What's that? Well, <laughs> I guess I'm feeling that way today. Uh, okay. So we're going to drip something down. Everybody wants me to, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Cause, uh, then I'm going to come in and doodle over the top of it. And that's where the detail is going to take place. So let's get rid of our mess here so we can just make a giant mess. And I'm thinking I'm just going to do it with white. Yeah, I think. Um, okay. So the secret to this is having a way to wipe up your flipping mess because it's going to make a mess. And I'm going to do it with like a whitewash. Here we go. And here we go. Can everybody see this? Let's move this over so that this was your ideas, peoples. If this sends my painting into a tailspin, you're all in trouble. No, I'm just teasing. Okay. Oh, look it. I found a good use for this bent brush. I knew I would. So now what I've done is I've just taken a whitewash, and that's all that is. Well, now I'm looking, and it's mixed with some colors. And we're going to take this paint and run it. Look at this. That this, this big, floppy, horrible bent brush has some good use. Okay. And then I'm going to take my spray bottle and spray down my entire work surface. Okay. Guess you do not need a good paintbrush for this. Okay. Ooh, this is very fun. I love this. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm just letting it go down. Really? And then they all fell asleep. <laughs> a lot of people are <laughs> checking in. And then they said, oh my God, what is this nut job doing? I love it. <laughs> I swear this is going to be a painting. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. This is this is always one of those things that my dad goes, all right, now midway through that show, I was thinking you kind of lost them. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for all the encouragement. <laughs> Actually, my dad is my biggest encourager. Okay, so are you guys all satisfied with the fact that there's stuff dripping down my page? It just looks so cool. Okay, so that, look at I found, see, I told you I'd find good use for that bent brush. Okay, I got to give this a couple more squirts because I did get some thick paint in there, like right there. Okay, all right. I'm not allowed to fret, Lori just said. <laughs> okay. 
I really like it too, actually. Kind of look. Plus, that was a really great page. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? Let's dry it the way it is. Please. I kind of just want to aim the drips going down here. This is one of those things, too, when you use bright colors, you, um, anything with a white wash looks good because it pulls it back a little bit. And we have a great taste. Here. All right, this is where you have to make sure everything is dry because if you're going to doodle or go over anything, it has to be dry. Pens, markers, paint pens do not like wet. Trust me, I've drawn about half of the things I do. Okay, let me see what's going on. This is a watercolor wet media art journal, so it can really take the water. I only recommend using something that will be able to take everything because we've got it caked down. Trust me. All right, now we're going to have fun. <laughs> yeah, airbrush paint too. It's hard to go over airbrush paint. I use um, Gordon's airbrush paint. But sometimes it's hard to go over. That's a, um, paint markers and sometimes markers react with that, I noticed. Yes. And it's got a little bit more of a sheen to it because I definitely want to add doodling to this whole thing. I know. Okay. Getting there. And now we're going to come back in with paint marker, I think. Now, I don't have a decent paint marker uh, to my name right now. Everything is just in shambles. Well, you know what? Maybe the sharper is good. I've been using a lot of Sharpies. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, you really just want to attack the front and the back of this because it has soaked in. Does anybody remember our title? <laughs> okay. Let me, I don't want to use paintbrush. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. What you want to do when you doodle something is not put your head in the, okay. Hold me get a paint marker nearby. I mean, a piece of paper nearby. All right. So I am going to show you how I doodle a little, 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 little. And there's a real science to it. If you can't keep up, don't bother. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Oh, I believe I'm not totally dry on this yet, but oh well. <laughs> um. All right. Okay. So, I found the marker that was working the best for me, and I went with it, and it is a Sharpie. Um, a lot of my markers right now are suffering from overusage, to be honest with you, and my Montanas all need to be refilled, and of course, I ran out of refill ink, and I was supposed to go and get more refill ink, and I haven't gone. I know. Okay, so, uh, la, 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 la. okay, good. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary, Mary. Oh, yeah, see, that one doesn't work. Let's find what it does. My Montanas are all, this tip needs to be replaced, but let's see if I can get something out of it. Oh, it's working now. Okay, I am just doodling now. I don't care. I'm not being specific. And I think I'm going to summon white too. 
Whoops. We kind of got to get it working. Oh. oh, I was doing something with gray on this black and gray. You can tell it's all over the tip. Okay, we're not going to use white because there is no white. Okay. Okay. I love to do the leaves. So for those who say they can't do this, I totally don't believe you because I can do it. And because it's so freaking fun. And you just let it go. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. I really wanted white, but um, so I really want white because I want to use. All right. Let's do black again. I got to get this out of here. Hold on. This is all wet. Okay. Oh, I love this. This is the time I love to paint. It does. It just is. In a lot of times, I doodle in all white just to give you an idea. But I don't think I have an all white pen right now that's going to survive it. But do you see this? And I'll come back in with white. I do have a favorite white doodling pen. I I also don't like to doodle a ton in white when we're cut live, and I'll tell you why. Because um. We work so quickly, and I know that this is not quite dry yet, but I'm under the gun to perform something, and, you know, you guys want to see something painted in less than an hour. It's kind of like, all right, in order to do that, I have to cheat, and a lot of it is cheating on the, the dry time. Because <laughs> sometimes I get done with this, and it is still soaking wet. Okay. So this is a Montana paint pen. I like it. It is white. It works. Yes, it does. Okay, good. So we're going to try. I'm going to, I do want to dry this off a little bit. I definitely want to make sure that, I think with doodling, one of the most important things is make sure what you're working with is completely dry. Um, Oops, see? Mm. And go slow. Okay, this is a Univol Signa. I love it. And if you go slow, work upright, it will work forever. If you jack up the tip, it will not work at all. And I warn you of that. So once you jack up the dip, uh, it's done. Uh, but I use all of mine pretty much in CEF to kind of, it's always good to have a piece of paper next to you because you'll get the residue from the paint on it. And um, so I just wipe it off. And then... Okay, so you see the detail that goes into this, and it just comes alive. Okay. We can hot in this room. Okay. Oops, I just stuck my hand in the... <laughs> Just stuck my hand in the doodle paint, <laughs> and that'll be stuck to me for a good long while. Okay. Um, really want this stem to be more white. Whoa. And I'm getting just that. Good. Okay. Good. Now my white pen is working. Okay, this needs to dry, but I did want something with it. Oh, I cannot do that. Don't try and use your mono your pen. Okay, 
good. Okay. How's that for doodling? Okay. And then I'm going to go around this with... Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Huh? Good. I gotta wait for that to dry. There was really a rhyme and a reason for this like giant thing going up there. Lori, are you sleeping too? Oh, okay. Oh, I noticed that. I don't think mine does. But then again, I haven't really looked. <laughs> my dad doesn't my dad does not show. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh I see. Oh, sorry. That would be that would be that head? No. Oh. You gotta be specific. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. There we go. So <sighs> hmm. Um, let's put a little heart right there. Cause we all know how much I love hearts. No, not okay. And we're going to put a little heart right there. If you're not loving hearts, I sure put a lot of freaking hearts on things. Okay. And then, um, what am I going to have coming out of this thing? Oh, I don't know. Okay. There we go. Okay. I think I've doodled the crapola out of this, so... I think I'm ready for a title, you know. Can only doodle so much. All right. What do you guys think? What does it need? A title. Whew. Donkeys, I'm hot. Uh, now, how long was the title we had again? What was the title we had again? Somebody, please, please, please. Okay. Oh. Uh, Montana paint pens come in every color. Well, not every color. What uh, was our title? Yeah, it's a paint pen. And here's one right here. Here's one right here. Here's, remember the big wampin' one? Look at there's moisture. Oh, boo. There's moisture collecting in the lid of that thing. That is nasty. Okay. Okay, grow through life. Oh, don't go through life. Grow through life. Oh, that's a good one. But the, that means I got to write all that? Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, this is, by the way, if you accidentally order a Montana paint pen in this size, you will never use it. <laughs> Especially when you order it in shock brown. I've used it once. Okay, grow your spirit. I like that, but I also like, what was that other one? Don't go through life. Grow through life. I love that, but that's a lot of writing for moi. Okay. Oh, I think we're going to go with grow your spirit. I'm almost thinking, I love this template, and I so want to use it. And I wanted to use it because it's easy and... I could probably doodle the thing. C C C C C. Maybe I'll just eh, I'll just handwrite it. You know what? Don't be afraid of your own writing, Miss Weinsapple. You know how to write, right? <laughs> All of a sudden, I forget how to write. I'm going to go simple because it is now 7:08, and I'm supposed to be nearing completion.
grow. I have to write everything out because I spelled everything wrong. I don't know how to, oh, see, I did. I spelled that one wrong. I don't know how to make a, a cursive F. I never have. Am I going to be able to draw this? Yes, I am. Where am I putting this, Lori? People, where is this going? <laughs> Top, upper, right. That's what I thought you were going to say. It was going to kind of go grow your spirit and come down. I'm a little nervous. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do it because if you don't just go for it, you'll just sit here and be grow. Don't worry, I will be doing something to add dimension. Your. I don't remember how to do an S that's in cursive. I believe it's that but I don't know. I think it is. Is that an S? Oh my God. Okay. I think it is. Um, son of a gun. I don't know how to do an S and I'm now messing it up. Okay. Oh, okay. Too late now. <laughs> okay. I know. I should have. I, I'm not, I do not know how to do a G and an S and I, obviously I do not know how to do a G and an S and. Okay. So grow and notice I'm just taking my handwriting And I will probably go around this. Okay. Good. Oh. Good, good, good. Okay. Good. All right. Now I'm going to come back in. And I'm going to fill in all of, I did, I did, yeah, it was wrong, I, I, I don't know, I had a, I had a lapse in how to draw a, an S, but I managed to do it, I don't know how that is, I'm not a very, the other one is F, I don't know how to do an F in, which is like so bizarre. Okay, so all I did was I just came back in and I'm filling in my little um, circles and then I'm going to go around it one more time. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, just so I could fill in all of this. Uh-oh, hold on. I hear kids. Oh, okay. Sorry, I heard kids and teenagers, and my son's not here. And every time my son is not here, I sometimes end up TP'd or forked, or sporked in some cases. Um, you know, teenagers. So I try to make sure that I'm not being vandaled by my own kid. <laughs> okay. So all I did was come back in and just fill the little fun little thing just to add something to it. Okay, grow your spirit. And because I feel like it, I'm going to frame my work. I'm not being vandaled, if anybody was wondering. <laughs> it's just the neighbor kids laughing. I guess they're allowed to laugh. Have you guys ever been forked? Have you ever heard of it? I came out of my house one time and I went, what is that plastic fork doing there? What is that plastic spoon doing there? And um, and then I looked and my whole, like one half of my yard, I live on nearly two acres or one acre or something. So my whole entire yard, front half of my yard 
had uh, forks stick, sticking out of it. They stick plastic forks upside down in the um, in the ground, believe it or not. And my whole yard was covered in them. Major was home. He didn't know who did it, and it was like one of his friends. It was hilarious. I mean, I was like, "Get your butt out there and start cleaning up forks." Okay, so. Oh, shredded paper. Okay, shredded paper is not good. <laughs> but that is funny because if you think about it, how easy would it be to shred up a crap load of stuff <laughs> and stick it all over your front yard? My luck is it had my name all over it. <laughs> okay, so all I did to finish this piece up was I took a black pen. I just went around it. I don't care. I'm growing my spirit. Finding my spirit again, making me smile. And then I've taken this black stamp pad. I think it's actually more of a charcoal color. It's so old that look, the stamp pad doesn't even stay on the. I love this color. You'd think I would just reorder the whole thing, but no, I'm just gonna wait until look at this, the, until the entire fall, thing falls off on air live in about two seconds. I've even re-inked it. It's that's how much I love it. And I oh see. And I'm getting it all over because I can't aim it anywhere in the state it's in. So, okay. But I was shooting for distressed. Okay, I'm done. Grow your spirit. And I'm done. I am okay with it. It's got my own writing on it. It has my saying on it. Well, it has Mary's saying on it. But Mary knew what I wanted to say. And it has a little bit of doodling on it. And it's... um. It was fun, you know. Um, any complaints or constructive criticisms or start again? That looks horrible. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it that I'm ahead of you guys. Hold on, my dog's knocking at the door. Come on. All right, I'm still, Mary always, or uh, Lori's telling me that I'm ahead of everybody, or, well, yeah. Okay, so I'm done. Stop messing with it. By golly, I think she's done. Okay. Ah, pretty page. Okay, you know what? I'm done. I gotta stop saying I'm done and just be done. Okay, ready? Any questions? Oh, I'm getting the applause. Hi! I know. When my mom claps, it's everything is done. Close up the shop. What do you guys? I did roses. Oh, goodness. I did daisies. And I cheated with my daisies. And I absolutely love them. And I love the drips going down. And I know this page was just totally woo. Like way out there in nowhere land. <laughs> Allie, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I hope you enjoyed it to at least come back. But this goes to show you, you can do something in an hour, and you don't need half the stuff that I used. I mean, I have it, so I use it. But I thoroughly believe in use what you have. So pick different colors. You know, pick a different pen. I mean, i got to get this apron off. I will post links on my studios page. If, um, I'm going to get this off. I'm hot. If, uh... Mary, no, Andy has not given you a link to my Facebook page, my studio stuff. I'm trying to post more art-related stuff and personal stuff. You know, me or Kid Rock with a vodka shot uh, probably goes on my personal page. I don't mind if you friend me, but, you know, sometimes I'm a little fun. That's with no kids. I had no kids with me at the Kid Rock concert, but I am a mom of three, a conservative mom of three. Sort of conservative mom of three. <laughs> Um, so we are done <laughs> and I even have the red in it and I'm okay. I'm way far behind you. Yvonne, speed this up, man. We are, we are speed painting tonight. <laughs> um, Andy, will you give them my Facebook page to the studios one? I, I prefer to, I put a lot of my, you know, business stuff. If you guys want, you can friend me on Facebook. I don't, I'm not going to. Um, and I only accept people in our Facebook group kind of if they, you know, mention or they saw us on this page or whatever. But I try to, um, I've been getting a little bit of spammers lately on there trying to sell shoes. So I'm very careful. 
Um, okay, so do we have any other questions? I think we're going to wrap it up for the night. And uh, this was less than an hour of painting, really just an hour of painting. And I prove you can paint uh, a masterpiece. Masterpiece. <laughs> or you can paint something like this in one hour. <laughs> But you all know why I like Dr. Seuss now. And thank you, Mary, for the saying, because really grow your spirit was kind of in line with what I had in my mind. <sighs> okay. Uh, I, thank you so much. Andy is on top of it. And I believe uh, I hear that bell ringing, and my dad is saying it is officially... <laughs> Yvonne's going, I'm still painting the flowers. Could you slow this down? Uh, I love when you guys paint with me. So if you want, if you want to paint this exact same thing and post it, I would love it. If you uh, don't, don't think I'm going to go. Oh, you painted the exact same thing as me. The whole purpose of this night is to share what I love to do. So, so paint away, paint whatever you want. If something inspires you, paint it. Okay, and that's a look. Okay, so I think it's time to say good night. What is the Mickey Mouse Club? Now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> Lori's got it going in my head right now. Y M O U S C. Okay. <laughs> I got a net from the cello singing in my ears right now. So good night, everybody. If you have any questions, I'm just gonna hang around. I gotta turn everything off. I gotta, you know, disconnect from a net from the cello over here. And um, thank you very much, Lori, by the way, for, uh, you know, uh, talking in my ears. I, I, I hope it didn't take away from your show. I know I was able to answer questions more quickly. Okay, so I'm going to um, sign off, but I'm going to stay right here. So feel free to ask any questions. Mind you, I have a glass of wine going. <laughs> Don't worry, Yvonne. As you have another glass of wine, you start to paint faster, I notice. I turn into, like, Edward Scissor's hands with doodles. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I hope you all join um, me next Monday. We're in August. I haven't even done the August calendar, but August, I see no problem. I'm taking one Monday off to go uh, see a piano friend of mine. Uh, she asked us to come down, and she only works on Monday nights, so I said, I'm taking a Monday night off. So um, I will let you know, and I will post this. Maybe tomorrow, because this is all done. Oh, no, I have something for tomorrow. This will go on my website on Wednesday. So this will be perfect. Uh, thank you. Oh, Lamar, I found my creativity. It was under the bed, just like, or under my pillow, just like you said it was. <laughs> Only I didn't get a nap with it. Okay. I am out of here. Okay, Lori, I'm disconnecting from you, but I'll talk to you in a little bit online if you're online. Okay, thanks. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm still online. Okay, hold on. Clink. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me disconnect. Stop.